about three of your starting offensive linemen tonight. When did you know that the line was going to look different, and how did you think things went with them? Well, we found out Wednesday. You know, things happened at practice. Uh, I'm probably I'm proud of the way those guys fought. You know, hung in there. I mean, we were, for the most part early on, we were explosive. We did what we wanted to do, uh, but we came up short ultimately. So. Uh, we need to score more points. You know, I look at myself first, and I think of uh, a couple of times, a couple of situations where you know I maybe could have gave us a chance to get a field goal. Took two sacks in the red zone, which was you know I should have done. But uh, you know, I'm proud of the way they fought. There's definitely a lot to clean up. Uh, there's also a lot of good stuff that came out today. But uh, you know, frustrated with how it turned out, and uh, there's a lot to learn. Today. Overall, though, you did look a lot better. And I mean, you had told us on Tuesday that you were feeling exponentially better. I mean, when you got back out there on the field, like just mentality-wise, how did it feel to know you were back closer to 100% than you've been in weeks? It felt good. You know, I'm just blessed and grateful just for the opportunity and all the people I have around me, the training staff, the coaches, and uh, most importantly, the players. And, um, you know, we just got to find a way to rally. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I knew we were going to have a better chance of just – going out and moving the ball just because I was able to do more stuff and scramble around and make big plays happen. So, uh, I mean, yeah, but we'll, we'll learn from it. Garrett, what can you say about their offense, especially the connection between Sam and E.T. tonight? Uh, I mean, Sam's a great quarterback. You know, he runs that system very well. And uh, the shout out to those guy coaching staff, you know, Klaus and his guys, they do a phenomenal job. And they put, it's hard on defenses. They put them in a lot of stress, you know. Being an offensive mind, you know, watching them do their thing is it's very impressive. He, he runs that offense very well, and um, I don't know what he's doing next year, but you know, I, they'll be missing if he's gone. Garrett, you wore two gloves today. What was the reasoning behind that? Uh, I just I got my hand cut up last week, so I had to get I had stitches, so I was just decided to cut the fingers off so I could get, so get was my it, grip. Was it because you were too cold or anything like that? I mean, what was the last time you done something like that with two gloves? No, no. Garrett, why do you think the offense was slow getting going in the third quarter? Well, 100% on us. You know, just the snap. You know, I mean, we had great plays on first down and second down. We just I fell asleep at the wheel. You know, it was, it was unexcusable and unacceptable. And that's what killed our first two drives. You know, the snap, I don't know what happened. I was getting lined up in the wildcat play. And then, uh, you know, we got we dropped the ball on uh, second, you know, second and ten. Now we're sitting third and long, so. And then they get the dial up blitz, so. Just got to be better on second down, got to be efficient. And um, once we started spreading out a little bit, we started going, but you know, it's just, we, we got we to be ready to play. Last two for Garrett, everybody's got it. Felt like you guys did a lot of different things, got some different people involved, receivers, and Quinn Allen was a, uh, very heavily involved today. Like. Was that just kind of out of necessity after kind of several weeks of, of a down offense, or did that just happen naturally? Uh, I mean, part of it was just what we were, the way we were going. Stuff wasn't working how, how we needed it to work, and um, so the element. But, you know, with Quint, he brings a spark to the offense. The kid plays hard. He's full of energy. And um, that's what he did today. I mean, look what he did today. He gave us a spark, made some plays happen, flies around. So, uh, you know, I think, I think we might need to keep going, move, start moving that route a little bit more than some other things. But, I mean, and we had the opportunity to go out and do it, and we just we came up short, so it's frustrating. Last one. Garrett, you threw for over 300 yards tonight, first time at SU. What can you say to this program for giving you the opportunity to play ball in the ACC? Yeah, I mean, I'm grateful uh, for just Coach Babers and him bringing me here. And, uh, you know, we still got a lot to clean up, and, you know, I missed some throws today, which is going to happen. But, you know, I wish I could have hit, 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 hit some of the stuff that we, uh, that we missed. So, uh, but, I mean, at the end of the day, we had an opportunity, and we just, you know, I feel like we, we gave it our all. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm content with that, knowing that, you know, we played hard. But uh, just, we just got to clean the stuff up to where, especially coming out of the second half, we can't be slow and shoot ourselves in the foot, stress our defense out. So, um, I mean, but they're a great team, you know, shout out to those coaches and those players. And they're, you know, they're an old team. And, uh, they do a lot of things very well. So, we'll, we'll, we'll learn from it. Be ready for next week. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.